My lab focuses on the mechanical behavior and magnetic behavior and uh, other properties of a variety of different materials. So I'm, I'm looking at things on the microscopic scale, but that really controls the behavior on a global scale eventually. So one of the things we're looking at is trying to develop new high temperature materials for a variety of applications, one of which is for power stations so that power stations can run at higher operating temperatures. So currently power stations run at about 575 degrees centigrade at the moment, and if you can operate them at 700 degrees C or 800 degrees C, then they operate much more efficiently. And the key challenge is actually the materials. There aren't good materials to use at those temperatures, which are also economical to use as well. So we're looking at uh, uh, finding and developing new materials for those applications. In this particular area, I have a, a strong background in intermetallic compounds. I've been working on these materials, which are compounds between two metals. Uh, sort of like uh, when you have sodium chloride is a compound between sodium and chlorine. You can also have compounds between metals as well. And I've been working on these sort of compounds for about 30 years, both as uh, individual compounds and as strengthening particles in, in materials. Why we're doing this work is to reduce the carbon footprint of power plants, uh, save fossil fuels, and to reduce costs of running the power plants. All the students who, who come to the engineering school are actually fully funded for the whole of their PhD program here, and that doesn't require them to uh, undertake any teaching assistantships or, or any other responsibilities. They're basically here to, to do research and take courses. If a student came to work on this project, they would uh, have a broad-based PhD education and also learn about uh, in-depth behavior of materials. Uh, They've learned a variety of techniques to, to look at materials. In particular, they'd learn how to use a transmission electron microscope. They'd learn how to do X-ray diffraction uh, and a variety of different uh, advanced techniques. Uh, my interest really is trying to understand how materials uh, work and to model their behavior ultimately. And so that requires a fundamental understanding of the materials. So, so while we're trying to develop materials, we don't want to do this in like compete with an industrial lab. We want to understand the fundamental behavior of the materials so that we can then develop those materials on a scientific basis. What this means in the long run is that this is better for the, for the planet, basically. And uh, also you save money doing it.